he doesn't want to be associated with me because I support Trump. Um, I had a guy who I interviewed, um, and I'm not, not going to say who it is, but uh, <laughs> he saw one of my videos. He goes, I don't like what you said about Kamala. Take my interview down. I said, all right. I just took it. I'm not going to email him back. I said, okay, I took it down. Just, I don't, it's funny, man. All these leftists, they're so tolerant. Until they find out that you don't like their politics or disagree with their politics or they disagree with you is more like it. And then all of a sudden that tolerance goes out the window. Dude, they literally think we're Nazis. They literally do. It's cr I mean, these people are nuts, man. They literally think if you support Trump, you're a Nazi. Isn't that crazy? And I've said it before and I'll say it again. There's a certain group of people in the United States who are more afraid of right-wing Christian conservatives than they are of anybody else in the world. Even... The biggest right-wing Christian conservatives are the biggest supporters of countries like Israel. We'll just use that for an example. A certain group of people are like, so it's, it's the weird, it's like, you know, cognitive dissonance, dissonance, I don't know what it is. But they're so afraid of right-wing conservatives. They literally think we have like clan robes under our bed. It's the weirdest thing, man. They would literally, literally be with uh would, would rather ha ha vote for Hamas than a Donald Trump supporter it's crazy I don't get it you don't get it um and you'll never get it and you're like but we and then this is where the right wing but we support Israel they're like dude we don't care we don't care because we're more worried about you by the way isn't it ironic that ISIS uh is not Hamas fan in fact uh, the, the defense minister of Israel by the way said uh, ISIS isn't that big of a deal. It's Iran they have to worry about. It. So that's kind of interesting. Makes you wonder from where ISIS came just out of nowhere, does it not? You're a conspiracy theorist, Josh. I, dude, if you're not a conspiracy theorist at this stage, I don't know what to tell you. Now, that doesn't mean all the conspiracy theorists are right, but if you're not saying, wait a second. Well, how did ISIS just out of nowhere start dominating the Middle East? That's just kind of strange. You know, look, I don't have an answer. I just find it interesting. Just out of nowhere, ISIS started dominating the realm. You're like, what? And then ISIS does not like Hamas. They got a video of an ISIS guy who looks like a total dweeb uh, executing, you know, sending a Hamas supporter to, ex to execution. You know, like, you know, that'll show him getting killed, but it showed him, like, being, you know, prosecuted, essentially. You're like, this doesn't make any sense. It's weird. The whole thing is so stupid, dude. Anyway, I just find it funny that I can't be tolerated because of my support for Trump. <laughs> I just... Like, I've been on, you know, not that many, but, you know, I've, I've been interviewed. I've had interviews before with, you know, ADOS, which is the American Descendants of Slavery. You know, uh, we were talking about uh, reparations and stuff, and they knew I was a Trump supporter. You know, I, they're big lips, and, you know, they're huge on BLM, huge on this stuff. I don't want my video taken down from that. I want to appeal to more and more people, man. More and more people, if they can hear me, I think they'll be better off for it. And, uh, you know, if not, no big deal. They can throw freaking arrows at me. I don't care. Just, I've never understood this, like, because I tried to interview the guy who had written a book about the USFL, and I said, uh, I said, it's probably one thing we can agree on, that Trump ruined the USFL, even though I, I do like Trump. And he said, oh, I could never have an interview with you. I was like, dude, what is wrong with you people, man? It's the weirdest. I'm not going to sit there and say, Trump, 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 Trump. In fact, I interviewed another guy. Uh, in the music scene, he's like, look, as long as there's no politics, we can do this. I'm not going to, no politics on my interview. <laughs> but I'm a political guy. <laughs> but I just thought it funny. It's like, wait, so all this time, because I've never shot for my politics, you were fine with it. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you said, so it just shows you this guy isn't a loyal uh, watcher. Because if he was, he would say, oh, there we go. If he was, he would have known that I'm right wing uh, through and through. I've never shot from that. <laughs> I can't support, I can't be associated with you. You're the other. The same people are all about DEI and diversity and tolerance. Oh my goodness, Martha, I've never, I've never, there's a Trump guy, and I just, oh. <laughs> just gotta laugh at these people, man.